What's the story, Sith? Seems like you know all about me, and I don't know nothing about you. You always the squeaky clean, or you making up for something? The Empire enslaved my family, but they decided I was special, and made me Sith. Funny how those Sith work. I was an accountant on Moneyland when I decided I wanted a little more adventure. <laughs> so I put a blaster to the head of the intergalactic banking clan and walked off with a few million credits. Been robbing and murdering ever since. Well, it sounds like you made a good start. Just don't put a blaster to my head. Don't worry, Sith. I've got a good survival instinct. Oh, you got a pretty nice ship. It's no Sky Princess, but hey, what is? I had a ship like it once. No armor to speak of, but you don't need defense when you can maneuver like that. You're cute when you reminisce. Well, don't expect me to get all nostalgic. That ship's space junk now. But it was a thrill while it lasted. Nothing like playing chicken with a ship twice your size and then firing up his tail when he blinks. Sky Princess was great, but she couldn't do that. Would you like to fly the ship? <laughs> How do you Sith say it? My lord, it would be an honor. You just tell me where you want to go. Got time to chat? I didn't think you were the chatting kind. Haven't been aboard too long. Like to know who I'm working with. Nothing touchy-feely, just enough to know you got my back. Good. Because if you got all sensitive on me, I might not like you as much. Last time I cried, I was six years old. The old man shot me in the foot to shut me up. Besides, I've got a reputation to protect. Okay. But you still have to buy me flowers. <laughs> Alright, but let's get one thing straight. I'm a pirate, you're a Sith. I'm happy as any guy to give a girl what she wants, but I'm not your slave, right? I'm free to go any time. You're free to do what you want, but I'd prefer if you stayed. Well, then you're in luck. Can't think of anywhere I need to go. Talk to you later, all right? You hear that, Sith? Nothing like it in the galaxy. The hum of an idling blaster. Potential energy right there. It's like waking up on your birthday wondering what you got. For a few minutes, it's anything. A whole galaxy, just waiting for you to pull the trigger. What do you call it? Nah, don't name my blasters. It's a bad idea to get attached. Actually, I was wondering. These blasters are nice, but a pirate's only as good as his equipment. We don't got fancy force powers like you Sith. I think I have a spare set here, if that's what you're asking for. I'll pay it back, Sith. Don't worry. Thanks. Hey, I got a surprise for you. Won it a few years ago in a fight against an animid pirate. Called himself the Fear. Kinda crazy, but... Great pilot and a great fighter. Blade's just ornamental, but he sure liked to wave it around. Worth a lot of credits from what I hear. And now you're giving it to me? I'm honored. A beautiful weapon for a beautiful lady. I know you got a lightsaber, but I figured you need something to pretty up the walls around here. If I'm not mistaken, I'd say you have a bit of a romantic streak. Careful what you say, but I got a reputation to protect. You know, I think I heard the ship's engine making a strange noise earlier. Mind if I check it out sometime? I didn't know you knew anything about engines. Yeah, I've lived on ships most of my life. You don't do that without picking up something. I'm no expert, but a buddy of mine back before the war taught me most of what I know. Carl Norn, best technician I knew. Worst card player. Could never see when the deck was stacked against him. <laughs> and it always was. Was this one of your pirate friends? My old man ran a shop on one of those planets people only visit if they break down or if they're running from something. Carl stumbled in on a tin can held together by sheer willpower. Well, and the skills of the best mechanic in the galaxy. Made me first mate after the war. On a ship called the Bloodshot Ranker. I learned a lot before he gambled the ship away. But you're sick of hearing me jabber, huh? <sighs> Engine's fixed. Looks like we took on some rock on one of our last jumps. Nothing big. Reminds me of the time I took the Sky Princess through an asteroid field. Ship mechanics were furious. 
clean rock out of her engines for weeks. Had to replace one of the rears, it was so badly damaged. What were you doing in an asteroid field? Dodging the enforcers. When you got a fleet of Republic ships on your tail, you take whatever cover you can find. Rocks don't have cannons. <laughs> Besides, what's life without a little risk, huh? That's why I became a pirate. The risk, the reward, the freedom. Perhaps I should take up piracy then. The Sith have too many rules. I think you'd be one of the best. Galaxy's only Sith pirate. Busy? Why? Did you have something in mind? I like you, you like me. Let's say we find a quiet spot in the ship. Get to know each other better. If you're thinking what I'm thinking, I can't wait. Well, let's find out. I ever told you how beautiful you are? You might have mentioned it. Well, I'm just gonna keep saying it. I was telling you about Carl Norn, great tech, bad card player. Got me into the pirate racket. Just got a call from him. He's in deep. The hut cartel on Nar Shaddaa's got his number. He deserves what he gets, but he's done good by me. I promised I'd meet him on Nar Shaddaa and help him out. I'd be happy to lend a hand if you need it. I appreciate it, but it's nothing I need to drag you into. I'll try not to be long, huh? So what happened with your friend Carl? Were you able to help him? Yeah, thanks for asking. Carl's same as ever. Never got a hand he didn't want to play. His debts weren't anything a few well-placed blaster shots couldn't settle. Do you ever miss being a pirate? I miss some things, I guess. But it's not like it's boring around here. Thanks for letting me bail him out. So what's proper manners for asking a Sith Lord out for a drink? You might try. You want to get a drink? All right. You want to get a drink? You know a good spot? And don't say Moss Ela. That stuff is swill. I think I know a place. something if you could live anywhere do anything what would you do I always thought the pirate life sounded interesting not as interesting as this sure it's fun when you're pulling in a big freighter but most of the time you're just hiding waiting used to think all I wanted to do was fly and fly and fly didn't matter where but I like working with you ships nice and the company's not bad either you're okay, too. Aw, oh, thanks. I gotta come clean with you, Sith. I wasn't always the scoundrel you met on Tatooine. I used to run in the Republic military. Made captain before I wised up and deserted. Call it misspent youth. Why are you telling me this now? Carl sent me a message. I guess bailing him out got the Republic military's attention. Seems they've added treason to the charges of desertion and piracy. Guess they're not big on former officers traveling with a Sith. Anyway, if things get hot, I might need to hop off the radar for a while. If things get hot, this ship is the safest place for you. The Republic military police are no match for me. <laughs> Thanks. Good to know you got my back. Hey, I gotta run. Is the Republic on to you? Don't got time for questions. Someone from my Republic days has popped up. Someone I thought was dead. If I don't jump on this tip now, he might disappear again. I'll fill you in later. All right, I said I'd give you an explanation when I got back. Here it is. We were chasing down a free trader on a tip in neutral space when an Imperial fleet jumped on our position, blasted us to pieces. 
guy who gave us the tip. An SIS agent. That's spy to the Empire. Named Harmon Reich. So you think Harmon Reich set you up? Could have just been bad intel. Except Reich disappeared the same day. One of my old underworld contacts traced one of his safe houses. But Reich slipped away before I could get to him. I can understand not wanting to fight somebody else's war. I skipped out myself. But Reich owes me an explanation. I can see why you would feel betrayed. Look, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Hey, uh, Sith. We make a pretty good team. I was thinking I might take off after I found Reich, but the old job just doesn't sound quite as appealing. I'd be honored to have you with me. Maybe sometime I'll take you out into open space, show you the thrill of lying in wait for a big freighter and a big payoff. I may be out of the game, but my skills are sharper than ever. Hey, I got an idea. You ever fly to the middle of nothing, cut the engines and just drift? I'm always looking for an excuse to waste time. You won't regret it, I promise. You ever find it funny how no matter where you are in the galaxy, it always looks like you're at the center of things? I didn't know you were so philosophical. When a pirate gets philosophical, it's just another word for going crazy. I guess it's that normally I start feeling strangled right now. You know, in a relationship. Like I gotta run away. This morning I woke up and thought, I'm out of here. And then I realized I, I didn't want to go. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, it's stupid, I know. I've got him. Reich, the SIS agent who betrayed me. He's a dead man. My old girl Casey intercepted an encrypted message. He's moving on Trandosha of all places as we speak. I've got to fly or I'll lose him. Watch yourself. If the Republic's onto you, this could be a trap. They haven't caught me yet. This is the last bit of business tying me to my Republic days. This is the last time I'll run, I promise. Reich's dead. Was dead before I got to him. Lucky jerk. Turns out I wasn't the only enemy he made selling secrets. Imperial intelligence sniper got him. Guess he was playing both sides. I'm sorry you missed your chance at revenge. I only wish I could have gotten an explanation. But I guess he was just rotten all around. I'm done running off. You and Casey are the only friends I got. And, well, you're the only one with the ship. <laughs> you're not so bad yourself. Eh, I just point and shoot. But I'm happy to be along if you'll have me. So, are we getting married or what? I didn't think you were the type to get tied down. Neither do you. Makes us perfect for each other. Hurry up and marry me before I change my mind. Deal. I know you don't want me turning sentimental. I gotta say it, you are beautiful. Are you saying you love me? Yeah, I guess I am. Can we talk? Look, don't tell anyone I said it, but you're all right. I wasn't sure this thing between us was gonna work out. Come on. We're two beautiful, volatile people. 
what's to doubt. Yeah, we haven't killed each other yet, huh? I don't know if we'll have kids or anything like that, but if we do, or you have apprentices or whatever, I want to be there to look after them. I'd be honored. I'm just saying, you're not getting rid of me easy.